Hello to all, and my name is Krishna Rishi. Welcome to online virtual learning platform. So here is our one project, and firstly, we will see the UI part, and after that, we will see the overall code. So we'll open in the terminal and install some dependencies, the initial dependencies. So npm i. We will do in the backend as well. Open integrated terminal. We will run the same command. So now to start our project, we will type npm start. So it will start our project in our main browser. This is our main project. We will also do the same in the backend. So it will fetch the data from the database. Okay, so firstly, uh, we will sign up as student. Here we have provided the fields such as name, Krishna. Let's make one email, Krishna Yoshi. And seven knowledge level. So maybe I am a beginner, area of study. So master's degree. The skills which I want to learn, I will put JavaScript and Python. It's multi select. Learning objectives, I can feel become a web developer. So temporarily, I have disabled the posters and the messages. Also, we will sign up as a teacher now. Let's say Robins. So then. I'm also wrong. So for the specialization, let's say JavaScript qualification, maybe he has having teaching certification, more than one year of experience. And this is the availability. So uh, we will, we can do it in the future as well. So for now we will keep it empty. Now we will check the, check our MongoDB. So the data, it's being stored. You can log in. So here is our main landing page. In the header, we have provided the search bar, the notification bell icon, and the profile uploadation section. So we can select any kind of image here. Also, we have provided the Moodle link. When we click on this, it will redirect to the main website of the Moodle. And the news and announcements. So, uh, this will be posted by the admins only. In the second page, all the courses will be displayed. And on the right side, the teacher assigned to me means uh, as I have posted the JavaScript and Python the skills so the teachers related to only those skills will be displayed here in the settings so the student will be able to change the name password and email So if we have logged in to the teachers panel, the landing page is the same. Second, uh, in the second page, 
teacher will be able to see all the students the upcoming classes so these are automatically scheduled by the admins and the settings so the first three parts these are same as of students and so here we can add his availability let's suppose uh let's say this 9 9 a.m till 2 p.m is free so he when we click on the update it will be displayed here so for the add class link to interact with the students teacher must be able to provide some link so quickly we will create an instant meeting here so new meeting start an instant meeting yep it's created so we just have to copy this link paste here and update so now if we check from the students page so in the teachers section in the so for the robin sir class info if i click on the join class then i will be able just to join the class Stand. so now uh, we will see the admin functionality so for that i have already created the admin password is admin so here we go admin will be able to post the courses uh, any new course teachers students so this fields will be same as the time of sign up news and announcements as we saw uh, the one announcement of wonderland the second page he will be able to see all the students and teachers the list of the teachers the settings admin will be able just to add and remove them so this was our ui part if we see in our project in the code so in the front end in the src in the pages uh, we have declared all our components the main front end part we can see we can look it quickly let's suppose uh the sign up student okay so uh, firstly we have quoted the necessary modules and components here also we have used the use effect hook to fetch the course data uh, when the components mounts for the first time it invokes the get course data function which sends a get request to the server to fetch the course data and updates the course data state because yeah this was our get course data after that we have defined some variables such as the name email password grade area of study skills language and lastly the written statement it consists of the jsx element so it will display our form these are the drop down menu options this will be our form yeah and, uh, same belongs to teacher as well or our structure is same it's the settings the firebase to access the image across all kinds of servers so in the back end in the roots folder we have provided the third of all the API such as the get, post, delete, and update. 
get all the students by their ID, post for the login. Same goes for the courses. Also, we have implemented a Redis cache in order to reduce the overall response time of the postman. So yes, uh, and the link for this project, the whole code uh, we can download from the GitHub link I have to read below. And please do like and subscribe my video to support me. Thank you very much. See you next in next video.